You've heard a lot about the presidential race, maybe too much. But there's a lot more that'll be on the ballot this fall. Senators and representatives in Washington, state legislators, governors, mayors, and in this election, the state leaders we elect will help redraw electoral districts all across the country. I think people don't completely appreciate how much gerrymandering affects the outcome. You can draw a district that almost guarantees one party is going to win instead of another because you have voter histories and you have a sense of where people are typically going to vote. What that means is that immigration reform, where we should have been able to get a law passed through Congress, we couldn't get passed because we didn't have the votes necessary in the House. After Newtown and the devastating shootings of children, there was an outraged country that was prepared and ready and eager to see us make some changes so that our young people and our children could go to school safely. A president can propose legislation, a president can fight for legislation, a president can argue for legislation, but ultimately it's the Congress that passes legislation and makes it into law. Those maps will stand for 10 years. That could mean a decade of fairly drawn districts where folks have an equal voice in their government, or it could mean a decade of unfair partisan gerrymandering. I think about these issues a lot because before I was president, I was representing a slice of Chicago as a state senator in Springfield, Illinois. One of the great things about state legislators is that unlike in Washington where sometimes there's so much obstruction, it takes so much time to get stuff done. In state legislators, you see a problem, you may be able to get it fixed right then and there because it's on a smaller scale. And a lot of the stuff day to day that has an impact on people really does happen on that local level. Lately, we've been seeing how critical these decision makers are to our day to day lives. They can determine our local pandemic response or lack thereof. They can work to improve policing strategies or make things worse. They can work to protect your vote or try to silence you. So this year, educate yourself on the candidates at every level on your ballot. They can make a profound impact on your community and our country. Go to IWillVote.com to get registered or confirm your status. Vote early and in person if you can. If you're voting by mail, request your ballot now, today, and send it back immediately. Then follow up to make sure it's received and tell your friends and family to do the same. Because this November couldn't be more important. Let's do this.